Okay, my t-shirt is hard to see with this light. It's a very difficult light here. But it's Think Differently. And my hat is... Uh, I always call this guy Chief Sitting Bull. He's very smart. And the topic today is uh, the distortions of the seven rays. So each of the seven rays has got a color and an ascended master and a twin flame of the ascended master. Um, I'm not going to go through the names of the ascended masters that are related to those. You can Google them. What I really want to focus on are the distortions. So I've got a cheat sheet, okay? This is my cheat sheet right here. I don't know if I'm getting capturing it with the camera very well. But this is my cheat sheet. And what I want to just talk about um, is what they're saying and see if I can give you some more information. Because rather than talking about the virtue of it, what it is, I want to talk to you about the trap. You know, because that's what's more important. Because if you can recognize what the trap is, then we'll go, ah. This is maybe where I see me or someone I know or someone who's maybe I see on TV on the news. This is what their problem is. And if you can figure out what the problem is, maybe it'll help. Okay, so the first one is uh, the root chakra, which is red. Uh, deals with survival and is blocked by fear. So what is the distortion of this particular red ray, survival ray? Uh, vampirism. Stealing other people's energy. Um, so this is uh, one of the items of the Celestine prophecy that all conflict uh, on planet Earth is because there's a belief in scarcity of energy. And this uh, comes out in so many different ways, but it's all about the control structures on planet Earth. Uh, the capitalism, uh, which is all about, you know, the pyramid where all the people at the 1% at the top get everything. It's all about vampirism and, and how you uh, uh, break free of this idea that there's not enough energy is that you've got to meditate and go within and connect up directly with the divinity within you so instead of stealing other people's energy and how is this done well you know the celestine prophecy says it's uh, a, a number of control dramas so you look up control dramas but uh, basically with this you you know to to get your energy your rootedness um you have, I mean, they say it's blocked by fear. So what, what's the biggest fear with, with survival death, the fear of death? So, you know, it's like the drowning person. And they always say if you're somebody who's like first aider to a drowning person, you make sure that you they're not going to go and drag you under. The first thing they'll do is if you come over to a drowning person is that they'll push your head down because they want to get on top of you because they want to float. So you have to be very careful. But it's the fear of death. And how do you get over the fear of death? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, you could try psychedelics. Um, that's how I got over my fear of death. Um, once you've had an out-of-body experience, then you realize, well, I'm not my body. So that's one possibility. But, you know... If that put it out there if that's what you've got a fear of death then um, you know see what comes your way and the universe will get, deliver something to you i expect okay the second chakra is the orange one it deals with pleasure so this is your sexual center and according to this item they say it's blocked by guilt what is the distortion of this sex center um well lust is the first thing that comes up what's lust uh, it's basically it's I think it's the it's a fear of missing out it's a fear of missing out it's a fear that you know if I let all these other ones pass by then I'm never going to have an opportunity it's, you know it's like you're on a planet and there's you know 8 billion people on there and you want to have a go at every one of them because that's what they're here for so it's um, it's the feeling that somehow 
um, something caught up in that. And what's the distortion of that? Um, well, it's like any drug. Sex is like any drug. Um, you can never have enough. It's like crack cocaine. You know, if you know anybody that's talked about crack cocaine, it's like there's never enough of it. You you can never quit. Or alcoholics, you know, one drink is too much because you just, you can't stop. You can't stop. So it's that uh, addiction. It's addiction. All right. Uh, the next one is the third chakra. It looks like it's uh, maybe yellow. Uh, they say here it deals with willpower and it's blocked by shame. So how does shame block your willpower? Uh, when I look at this one, it's your solar plexus. Okay, so it's this area down here below your heart. And... Um, it has a lot to do with uh, ego power, power over um, stuff. So ego power is, again, related to controlling others. So if you're using your will, you're binding other people to your will. It's binding spells. It's treating people like they're something you can bind with witchcraft with spelling with spells and what's it all about again it's about the feeling that you um you can't do it on your own you need to steal other people's stuff so it has a lot to do with stealing distortions of will are um it's abuse of power it's it's you no know, i've got the power and i'm going to use it to bend people to my will and what is my will? It's not div the divine will, okay? It's ego ideas about will. So, you know, it's like, uh, you're pretty and I want you in my bed. How's that going to happen? Well, I'm going to, uh, whatever it's going to be, but it's a distortion. You know, it's the old idea that, um, you know, if you've got a bird, you should let it, f let it go free. And if it comes back to you, then, you know, it wants to be with you. But, you know, if it leaves you, uh, well, it didn't want to didn't want to be with you. So it's allowing other beings to have their own um, will. And if your will is, you know, you you have to have them, then you're you, you're a slave owner. It's slavery. And, you know, that's a huge distortion. That's not love. So in the end, all of these rays are about learning different ways of looking at love. What is love and what is not love? So. I'm not really sure why they say willpower is blocked by shame. But for me, this willpower, this distortion of willpower is, uh, I mean, there's the divine will, which is um, uh, freedom. Freedom for you, but not infringing on the freedom of others. So what is your freedom? It's your freedom to give. It's your freedom to give. But if you're full of vampires and you give everything you got, um, well, the solution is if you can tap in directly to the divinity within you, you can fry the vampires. by uh, They'll just keep pulling and pulling and you just keep giving because you just tap into the divinity. You can do it. Does it teach them anything? It's difficult to say. Um, maybe they'll just see that they've got a very, you know, that, that they've got a, um, a, a some source of energy that they can keep coming back to. So in some ways it doesn't, it's not so good. <sighs> it's difficult to deal with vampires. It's a long-term process. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one. The fourth chakra is to do with love. And it's a green color. And they say here it's blocked by grief. So blocking love with grief. Grief is the feeling of loss. And it has to do with, again, with people that believe in death. The people that may have heard that they're eternal spiritual beings and just said, no, I mean, I've seen dead chickens at the supermarket, they're dead. And when my body's dead, I'm going to be dead. So it's a fear of loss of life. Uh, yeah, I guess try some psychedelics. And uh, I know they're illegal, but I mean, this, this world is full of nothing but 
uh, rules and regulations that are out to stop you exploring your own consciousness. It's uh, this world is all about control and the people that run our governments and all the do-gooders that's, you know, you know, it's the mother hens that say you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, it's bad for you. Where did they get this all? They just, it's just crap they picked up, they picked up and, you know, textbooks are full of crap. Uh, news news reports are full of crap. I mean, it's the emotional wave. And, you know, how are you going to convince somebody that's caught up in the emotion of it all? Uh, just go around them, you know, ignore them and, you know, go do it on your own way. You know, don't tell them or something. But that that's how you get past the fear of, of, of death is, um, you know, you have to have some kind of a peak experience. And, you know, the fastest way or you can... You, I was going to say you could go like skydiving or something, but it might not really bring you to the point where you where you feel like you're, you know, you're a spirit having a human experience rather than being a human being that once your your body dies that you're dead and you know then I got to get everything I can while I'm here. So uh, that's the problem with this fourth ray of love. It's people that can't love because they are have this limiting belief that they're they're going to die and they're going to be extinct um if that's your belief it's a it's a tough one to get around uh, but that's a distortion it's a distortion and in some way you're going to have to deal with that and maybe it's going to be acceptance of your death but i'll tell you as far as i'm concerned you're an eternal spiritual being having a temporary experience here on planet earth so I'm going with that, but you'll have to figure it out yourself. You know. uh, the next one is your throat chakra, which is kind of a blue color. Uh, deals with truth. And it says it's blocked by lies. So distortion is lying. The other way that things are distorted is uh, it's like the evil emperor in uh, Star Wars. Uh, or Darth Vader or Darth, what was the other one? Darth Sidious and Kylo Ren using their dark powers to force choke you, to choke you. They're choking you. What are they doing? They're blocking your ability to speak your truth. So, um, I mean, there's all kinds of liars. We all know advertising is built on lies. Well, maybe some of the, some of the features are true, but I mean, they cook up all kinds of stuff all kinds of distortions with advertising. Um, the whole, everything to do with business is built on lies. You know, or, you know, you go to a car and they say, well, we'll show you the manufacturer's suggested retail price. This is the cost to us. No, it's not. I was a car salesman. I know damn well. Uh, even They won't even tell me how much a car is worth, but I know that what they say they're being charged is bullshit because they've got all kinds of secret hidden programs behind the scene. So if they sell so many cars in a month, they get kickbacks. How much it is, I don't know, but it keeps all these car dealerships afloat. So don't trust them when they say this is our cost. It's not true. They lie. And I read somewhere else that the cost to, to build a vehicle, you know, a, a nice car is maybe $3,000. And that's probably pushing it too. You just... It's all built by robots and they got, you know, massive buying deals with steel companies and, you know, the tire companies. They get the stuff dirt cheap. It's all put together, very little labor. And, you know, if they're building it in Mexico, the labor rates are really low. So there's no way that, that a vehicle, you know, is that costs you $60,000 is $50,000 in cost. No, no, they lie. Unbelievable lying in this planet. But that's the, uh, the throat chakra. So it's either telling lies and why do people tell lies? Uh, it's a belief in scarcity. It's a belief that uh, there's not enough to go around. So I have got to get, um, I've got to overcharge you because I need the money. Money represents energy. And I don't have enough divin divine energy. I don't have a connection to divine energy. So I got to steal your money because your money is energy to me because it allows me to go and live on planet Earth. Um, you know, to go to the Caribbean and to buy a new house and um, everything that I have to have uh, because of my ego. Ego is basically um, your sense of separate, separate self, so separate from everything else. And so what you do is, you know, it's, it's uh, having a silver tongue to go and talk somebody else out of their money. 
So uh, again, the evil empire, he, he's like you know, choking you so you can't speak your truth. It's a distortion. Okay, the next one that we've got is uh, Third Eye. And the color here, it's a deeper blue than the throat chakra. And it has to do with insight. And this uh, text says it's blocked by illusion. Okay, so people say you open your third eye, and are you going to start seeing things that aren't there? Um, maybe some people do see things differently. I mean, sometimes if your third eye is open and you close these eyes and you're in a darkened room, you can see something in your mind. So it is quite possible to, to see things with your eyes closed when you're in a darkened space, you know, and um, so that's part third eye. But third eye also has to do a lot with discernment. How do you deal with um, the lies that we were talking about when we're talking about the throat chakra? Uh, when you've got your third eye open, um, it might not, you know, you might not get a voice in your in your head that says, "Okay, this person you're talking to is lying," but I mean, there's way more to it because, um, as a personality, I don't know when people are, you know, sometimes you know when people are outright lying to you, but it's I'm going to say it's higher dimensional beings that guide me, that are using me to interact with others. And it's a great teaching game. So, you know, what they give me to say, uh, sometimes I'm flabbergasted what I'm given to say, um, but it's part of the program to help the others um, with whatever their personal issues are. So... But, so as far as the insight goes, um, let's just leave it at that. Let's just say, uh, when it's open, you get insight into what, and maybe the biggest insight is, is that uh, once you get all your other shakers in line, um, then the purpose of you being here is to be a teacher. And how are you being a teacher? Well, you're not really the teacher. I mean, sometimes it might be, you know, me giving you a, a verbal lecture but uh, the teachers are they're saying they're not smarter than me but they are in higher dimensions and they've got um, more access to I mean if you watch the movie The Adjustment Bureau uh, that's a good one to watch uh, it was a Philip K. Dick movie and it was about um, um, the Adjustment Bureau people have um, little computers like smartphones and they keep looking at them and it shows timelines and if they're tracking someone it shows the the timeline and what their their potential probabilities are of what's going to happen to them so uh that's a good movie to look into if you want to learn more about um you know people in higher dimensions and, and how they can see people on planet earth okay so the next one we're going to go to is this the crown chakra which is the top of your head the color is like amethyst purple and it deals with cosmic energy according to this little document and is blocked by ego attachment. Um, so the cosmic energy, um, does it come down and out through your, your first chakra or does it come up from the earth and go back up and there? It's irrelevant. It's just basically... Uh, the idea that, you know, you've got, you ground in earth, which is what you walk on, um, uh, but you're connecting up with the stars. So, you know, it's, they say it's blocked by ego attachment. So if you're going to block your connection to the stars, it's about maybe you saying, well, I'm the source of my own being. What does that mean? It means I'm a self-made man. 
people who say I'm a self-made man, you know, a lot of people, you know, they entrepreneurs and, you know, it's, it's how they justify um, paying themselves outrageous salaries. And um, uh, then they go off and, you know, they own vast tracts of land and helicopters and huge yachts. And um, these people will say, well, I deserve it. I, you know, I built this business from the ground up. And the, uh, the, the distortion is that, um, first of all, they think that the ideas that came to them um, were their own. The ideas don't, are not created by human beings. Ideas come from a field, source field. So, you know, it's, it's, a lot of it is ignorance because we don't, we're not taught in school about source fields and how the human brain acts more like a radio receptor for these ideas that come there, come our way. We're taught that, you know, we've got the brain, the brain creates ideas. It's incorrect. And that might be, you know, a big problem, but how are you going to get, you know, the schools to start teaching this kind of stuff? I don't see it. It would be an enlightened school system, but the way things are set up right now, um, no, it's unlikely, but you have to get it through, you know, things like YouTube or on the internet to uh, someone who's figured it out. Um, other things that can block your uh, connection to cosmic energy. Uh, if you look at the hoodedsage.com, um, in his work, uh, he talks about uh, how we connect to other people uh, through almost, well, when he sees it, he sees it as being tubes. So it's like if I'm talking to you, there's a tube going from my head to your head. That's how he sees it. And there's a tube of information flowing from your head to my head. And if you are a person who is very egoic, uh, your tube is very dark. You've got a dark tube uh, because you're full of control. You're trying to control me because you want, you're a vampire and you want to steal my energy, uh, my money, my life force. You want to steal it all because you haven't connected to the divinity. Uh, so you're, you're a vampire, you're highly egoic. And that dark connection... Um, which can also connect at other chakra points. Uh, it'll make me sick. It makes me sick when people try to connect. I can feel when people try and If you personally think that, you know, you, you feel nauseous sometimes and you blame, oh, I had some bad chicken wings. I'm going to tell you, it's never the food. It's never, never what you're taught about in planet earth that it's bacteria infection viruses uh heavy metals toxins never 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 that's all completely false it is always about beings connecting to you with dark intentions if you feel sick it's because it, it, this is a spiritual universe and we're taught that it is not we're taught, taught that it's a material universe and that everything is caused by material things like, you know, a bacteria is a, is a material thing and a toxin is a material thing. No, no, everything is consciousness. We live in consciousness. Material things that we see are thought forms. We play here in thought forms, but everything is consciousness. So if you feel sick, it is because there are beings that are making you sick. And they're making you sick because they are not connected to divinity. And they're looking to you for food. And some of the beings are in human form, and some of them are invisible to you. And some of them are perhaps humans at the top of corporations, countries away from you that are, um, you know, they, they own all the land and they own all the stores and they overcharge you for gasoline or food or whatever they've got control over you and uh, that's the state of uh, the world that we live in uh, we've got egoic beings uh, with evil intentions why is it evil it's because they is it ignorance it's a lot of it is ignorance there would they change if uh, they knew about it no no 
How do I know this? Because I know beings that uh, know all this information and they don't change. So that makes it very tough for you. So even when you do all your work, uh, there's dark beings who uh, are still around. So what do we do about that? You have got to be a light worker. You have got to stay connected to your divinity. You've got to stay very alert and uh, call out the dark. When these dark beings um, bug you, when you have the opportunity, you lecture them. You lecture them. And are they going to change? Well, uh, no. There's no guarantees. There's no guarantees in this world. Um, and in the end, what's going to happen? Well, it appears that everyone here, I mean, I said there's no death, but people seem to leave. So some people apparently drop their physical body. And I said there's no such thing as a physical body, so it's a thought form of a body. And they leave. Um, it's very complicated, and I, and I don't have all the answers. So what's going to happen to these beings that know all this and refuse to change? Well, perhaps this is why they call this a free will universe. If you're going to come to love, uh, you have the free will to either say yes or no. That's what free will is. Free will is basically saying yes to love or no to love. That's it. That's, that's the only choice. Yes or no. Yes to love or no to love. It's higher love. You know, it's not, we're not talking about romantic love, but we're talking about higher love, higher consciousness, divinity, um, oneness, unity. So, uh, and the problem is, is that uh, people take this in with their intellectual minds and I mean, it's just information, you know, and everyone knows that it could be true or it could be false, but you have to um, try it out. You have to try it out and see if it's going to work for you. And then again, you might try it out and it might not work for you. And it might be reason is that you're surrounded by dark beings that are uh, throwing stumbling block blocks at you to make you think that what you're, you know, that the choice of love is not going to work for you. Oh, yes, they're very tricky. These beings are thousands of years old. The demonic, the demonic are experts at this. So... How do you know you get past it? Well, if you keep uh, working on yourself and you keep attracting the demonic, you're successful. Is this going to go on forever? No. No. You will escape. And the demonic will either have a chance to turn themselves around uh, or they will go on being demonic somewhere else. No. It's, and some people say, well, you know, it's just someone's theory that, you know, no. The demonic will um, eventually, what happens to them is they get uh, put on to uh, what are known as brains, B-R-A-N-E-S. And they're basically, you know, it's like tar paper or fly paper. They're flies stuck on fly paper and that's where they go. They all go together and they hang out and they, they actually hang just like, you know, flies on tar paper, fly paper. That's what happens to the demonic. And um, as for their opportunities to change they have the opportunity to change and it's free will so they have to use their um their will to try love and if they don't then they're fucked and that's on them i'm harry weaver